Hey Woods, it's Mr. Grabo. I am going to show you three things today. I'm going to show you how to make groups um, using your internet and this should help you stay organized. I'm going to show you how to check your power school, your grades and get in there. And I'm also going to show you how to send a basic email. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is show, show you how to group tabs, okay? So this is, can be really helpful. Sorry, I'm getting a couple of websites up. You'll see I have a lot here. Well, this is a common problem, having a lot of different websites up. Now, as you get through the school year, you're going to be wanting to use different um, like websites for your ELA class, your math class, your STEM class, your library. And there's a really a nice way on Google to um, keep these organized. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. And I'm going to set up a reading um, tab, okay? So the first thing that I have is, um, for my reading tab, I'm going to have the libraries part of it, I'm going to have AR's website as part of it, and I'm also going to have my Hoopla account as part of it. So we're going to make these all into a tab. So I'm going to right click on a tab, that's a two finger tap on your Chromebook, and I'm going to right click, and said add tab to new group. So I'm going to add this tab to a new group and I'm going to label this reading. I'm going to go ahead and label this green and I want to save the group, okay? Now, I can click off and I wanna add my AR website and I just right click and I'm going to add tab to group reading. My Hoopla account, I'm going to add tab to reading group. You can also like drag and pull into that group also. Now here's my reading tab and what is really nice about this is I can hide the group. Oh no, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Um, it's right here. I have a, I already have a couple of groups, but when I click on this reading group, you'll see it will automatically open up these um, the three websites that I put underneath that group and you can minimize it you can also move this whole group around up here on your address bar so if like I'm done and I don't want to see it I just click hide group I can also so like here's my library tab like I have one two three four five six seven tabs in my library group so I really do think that Putting these groups together can help you. You could have, you know, like a hundreds chart for math. You could have the Google Classroom. You could have whatever assignment that you're working on. That way it's easy for you to pull up these different group um, tabs, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you again how to do this, okay? So I'm gonna hide this group. And um, so this next group that I'm going to add in here is um, I'm going to do like an everyday tab okay so I right click on the I have the websites up already I got um, um, my power school I got email and I got like Google classroom home so like these would be websites that you know you're gonna land on every day so I'm gonna go to this power school I'm gonna go ahead and click add tab to new group and then this is daily right so let's do purple i'm going to save it okay um is daily and let's add this one so i can just click and drag and i can move them about you see that it's purple or you can always click add tab um well we're going to add this one add tab to group daily and it's right here um, and of course I can hide the group and remember I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups, right? Um, I teach a lot of classes. So if I open up my daily tab, you'll see it automatically opens these up. And what's nice is once you're logged in, it shouldn't like pop up with you logged in, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hide this group for now. Now, I'm gonna show you how to access your um, power school. So your power school has your grades, it has your lunch balance, it has things like that. So in our Washington Woods Library, it is under classwork, power school, and email. And here's power school. Now, um, 
I have a student, Ian, that um, has graciously let me use his, his account um, to kind of demo this for you. So we're going to click sign in. And over here to the left, it says grades and attendance, missing assignments, class assignments, and it goes through all of these things, right? So let's click on class assignments. And we're going to take a look at this third tab over year one. So we click on here and here we are. Select a grade report and item to view assignments. So here's um, Ian's so far his assignments. You can see um, a lot of these have been collected, right? And let's see if I go to um, how do I let's go to grades and attendance let's, and so here's I can check out his standard grades too so grades and attendance standard grades and I want to expand all and then it will show you so far his different standards and his um, his standard grade right now which is which is threes um, and you can expand on all of these okay so let's collapse them all grades and attendance um, so he's been here every day so far but this will this will update your um, attendance also if you wanted to check your lanes um, your student your lunch balance I'm sorry it's over here under um, balance your schedule is right here um, this is Ian's schedule right and you can change this so there's really there's a there's a lot in here for power school um, with you you can click on grade history and it's saying that there's no term grades but um, we know that he has some under standard grades right so power school it's very clicky um, but um, the more time you spend in here the more the more that you'll get familiar with it all right the next thing I wanted to show you is how to get to your email and how to send a basic email okay now so let's go back to the library classroom and under topics it says power school and email and this is the email link and I would say see it already say signed them in right I would say the best way to get to your email is to type this in mail.hpsk12.net so m-a-i-l dot hpsk12 dot net now it will take you to um, our sign in so I'm going to update this and usually you are going to want to save your password I'm not going to save my password I'm not going to stay signed in you should though so when we're in our mail um, a couple of things about our email all right the purpose of emails is to get in touch with someone who might be hard to reach by phone or like in person you can send photos files and attachments um, remember that when you send an email you're not going to get an immediate response okay you can also use emails to send information to a large number of people. And this is a great way for students to communicate information with their teachers or to ask questions. Um, this would be a good way if you want your home-based teacher to know, you know, something like I wish you knew that, you know, like I'm moving in a couple of weeks and I'm pretty nervous about it. Um, this is a good way to communicate something um, more private to your teachers like I wish you would know. So some drawbacks, it's not immediate. So don't expect an immediate response. Remember, email is never um, like super private. Like once you send an email, you're not going to get it back. Um, so if you send an email message to a friend that's unkind, like you're not getting that email back. Um, and the tone of an email can be misconstrued, meaning um, you want to be really clear about what you're saying. Avoid sarcasm, avoid humor in um, emails like lots of times those jokes just don't land right so when we're going to be talking about reasons to email a teacher um, so question a question about an assignment letting them know that you're not going to be there to request like a copy or like um, like if you're sending me an email like um, 
like, hey, can you pull Ground Zero this book for me? I would like it um, to ask a question or to uh, like set up a time where you can meet to have an individual um, discussion. The tone in the email is like um, very much how it's coming across to the person that is reading it. So we always want to make sure that we are kind and respectful, especially when we're sending emails to teachers. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, just show you how to how to send a basic email. Okay, so I'll just I'm I'm in Ian's account. You know, thankfully he gave me permission, so you kids can see what um, a kid's email looks like. So over here to the left, it says inbox. So he got some emails this morning about um, Google Classroom announcements. But let's just go ahead and send an email, and we're going to send this to to me. So we're going to type in last name. Well, there I am, and book. Um, the subject line right here is super important that you're telling the teacher what it's about. Um, don't leave it blank. And when you're in the email in the body part, you always want to start off with some type of salutation, some type of greeting. So, Mr. Grabo, I was wondering if you have the second book in the Wild Robot series. If so, could you check it out for me? For me, please. Um, and then end it thank you um, and you want to type your first and last name um, it's just easier um, for the teachers and everybody else to keep track of things so relatively simple and straightforward and then you just click send now you could send it to other people so let's say Ian wanted to send it to his dad also okay so this would go to me and to Mr. Cronkite okay um, and then when you press send, it will just send it out, okay? Um, so I'll send this and just to show you. Now over here to the left, you'll see inbox, sent items, and you'll see that he sent it to, he sent that email to me and to his dad, Mr. Cronkite, right? So that's how you um, send a basic email. And so I showed you three things. I showed you how to do group tabs. Right, so they're still up over here saved. I showed you how to get into PowerSchool and how to do a little bit of navigating and how to check some of your grade history. So grade history, um, I'm sorry, class assignments and then year one is where they're going to show up for you, okay? Um, and there's, there's lots of options in PowerSchools. And then I showed you how to send a basic email to um, a teacher. So let me know. I know this was a lot of information, but let me know if you have any questions. Bye.